Or actually, we're going to go from an incredibly iconic American sports car to an incredibly iconic German sports car. Wow, what a great day to be alive. It's 109 degrees outside. We're gonna get a plane going to Denver, then we're gonna drive to Steamboat Springs, rescue a 1956 Corvette, 7914 6 Porsche, which is a really special one, and two Triumph motorcycles. So grab your cup of Joe and let's go. One of the amazing things we get to experience on Coffee Walk is driving across America and seeing the incredible scenery, incredible towns. We just landed in Denver. We got a 180 mile run to Steamboat. So grab your cup of coffee, enjoy it. Grab your cup of tea, sip on it. Enjoy the next few minutes of the incredible scenery. When I saw you downtown, I started acting like a clown. some attention from the girl right next to you then all my friends saw me fleeing for my life John B. Good morning, Bill. So we're at Steamboat Springs. Yeah. What'd you go? 980 miles? Sir. Unbelievable. Well, you are a road warrior, sir. All right, so the pancake flapjack saga is still going. Look at it. So has anybody ever seen a pancake? Sean calls it a flapjack egg. What is that called? So this morning we're gonna go rescue two killer sports cars. Which one? 56 Corvette, nice. Porsche 914 6. So get your pancake, your flapjack, and your cup of joe, and let's go. And a half off it. a dirt road in Steamboat Springs. Cannot believe these cars are here. I'm excited to see them. Let's go. Good morning, good morning sir. sir. How are you today? Not as good as you. This is unbelievable. <laughs> we're, we're out there. Hi, Dennis Collins. Dennis, nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet Michael you in Deppel. person. Zach on the camera. Zach, nice to meet you. Sean P in the truck. Sean P, nice to meet you. Nice, this is, nice backing job. This is incredible. It's my first time. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, it's unbelievable. You can see the ski mountain, uh, ski mountain up uh, there, and the whole Yampa Valley. So the Yampa River runs down the valley through town, and it's a uh, yeah, it's a pretty magical space. I and mean, we're in Texas. It's pretty flat. <laughs> yeah, for sure, for sure. Good morning, that's, ma'am. That's Marilyn. And my How son, are you? Colin. Good morning, Hi guys. Marilyn. Hi. Colin uh, was uh, these cars are such a part of our family that he flew in from LA last night to. To well, be the, here for them to go. Away. Colin, how are you, sir? Not too bad, man. How are you? Dennis Collins, like Great the shirt. Nature. You know, like uh, had to do, uh, had to do both. <laughs> you know? Sean yeah. P, what Zach on the camera. Oh yeah, back you can at, play at this game, man. <laughs> Collins, I sad. can't, I can't believe they're You're here. Definitely I mean, from LA. Though. We we say it all the time. You know, <laughs> we find these cars Guilty. in the middle of nowhere, but wow, it's far yeah. from nowhere. Pretty much. <laughs> yeah, but it's so beautiful. Like I, I don't want to leave. No, it's the best winter. It's, yeah, right, exactly. We <laughs> had uh, 450 inches at mid-mountain last year, 600 at the top. I had 400 inches here. 
So wow, that's a lot of 400 snow. inches of snow. Yeah. That's so a lot you of need a helicopter. Yeah. I've got a loader so that I can move stuff. That's so a thought. Helicopter. Helicopter. <laughs> maybe, that, maybe that's the next move. There you huh? go. So you're looking at the... Uh, at the Jeep. Oh, we love that, gladiators. Yeah, well, uh, he's, Colin, he's got one. I've got one. Oh, really? I think it's one of the yeah. best Jeeps they've ever made. Colin, he rented it. Got it from Budget last night. Oh, that fits. Yeah. So much fun. From Denver. Oh, yeah, so did it. you guys drive out? We did. We drove in from Denver. <laughs> yeah, they drove up from Denver. Oh, okay. I, no, I drove up. Yeah, he drove up. You, drove, okay, you didn't, do, you didn't <laughs> no, come all the way. Probably okay. should have. Yeah. I mean, Actually, the drive was beautiful from Denver to here. Oh, yeah. No. They should have rode with me because I came from Pueblo and did that whole back. Oh, you did? Oh, yeah. That's yes. the way I told you not to let him go. No, I no, wanted, he wanted to. Oh, you wanted I to go. wanted to avoid Denver, and so I went that way, and oh my God, it's it was beautiful. so beautiful. But yeah. with that trailer, I, I didn't was concerned. Care. I okay. was doing it anyways. That's great. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> That's unbelievable. Let's go see these cars. Okay. Well, I have a tendency of doing things that people tell me not to do. <laughs> Actually, he's king of that. <laughs> tell him not to do something, he's going to do it. Uh-oh. Wow, look at that. Orange. White. Oh, so we were just talking about flashlights on the way here. We need a flashlight sponsor. Yeah, come on, man. <laughs> I'm king of losing flashlights. I've lost them. There's a wee in there. Countless. All right, Michael, we're going to let you tell a story. Well, my father bought this car out of a literal little chicken coop somewhere outside of Chicago in 1980. And we started restoring it together. We've got a book of photos over here of the tearing it apart, stripping it. Um, I left the Chicago area then in 1984 to move east, and he was pretty much on his own from there, so he took care of it. Uh, it was painted in 1987, and as he aged and had grandchildren and other stuff, he, uh, you know, he got busy doing other stuff and just got old and tired of it. So That's a lot of work doing one of this it's, level. It's, it's huge. People don't understand. Yeah. I mean, you guys are trying to get this to uh, NCRS level, and that's tough. It's very tough, yeah. And then I um, was living in Kansas City for a while and consigned it to a guy to finish it who had done a number of, of uh, national champion cars, and I said, well, this would be great. But he was also the curator of a private auto museum, and life got in the way, he had a child, and never got back to it, so it sat in that museum for six, seven years until I picked it up and brought it back. And I've had it in the garage ever since. And just Is this lacquer, enamel, or basically lacquer. clear coat? You nice. actually use lacquer. Nice. So, if you're trying to win a top level award, you have to use lacquer. Lacquer is very difficult to get. Even when you guys paint, it's difficult to get. Yeah. Inexpensive. Yes. It's also, it's an art to shoot it. And it takes a long time because you've got, first of all, you've got the primer's got to dry completely because it can't shrink or move because lacquer shrinks and moves anyways. But to do a lacquer paint job on a Corvette, to do it properly could take a year. Yeah, if you want, I mean, if you want it to be absolute show quality, not move, not shrink. Yeah, I've had it for eight months, as I recall. Eight months. It, it's tough. Yeah. Really tough. So. And even this car, it's probably shrunk some, but the neat thing about lacquer is, when we get in the shop before we start putting it back together, regardless of what it looks like, we're, we'll cut, we'll carefully color sand and buff it again and get some of the shrinkage back out of it. Just simply by putting the heat for the polish wheel, we'll take some of that out. It's, uh -huh. Lacquer's a, it's an art, but the fact that this car's painted lacquer is really cool. Hey, watch out for that light. So it looks like they were going after it completely cosmetically, but they didn't do the motor. Yeah. So obviously this is a power ride. There's a lot of unique things on this car, Sean, in 1956. However, I need to put most of them, I need to put the car down to show you. But we got Venetian red, white coves. Uh, the coves were an option. So these cars, when you order them, came in a single color. Now, most buyers and most dealers, when they ordered them, went two tone because it looks so much better. I honestly hate to say it, but I want to get one color. Well, they're because, every, because everybody does this. Well, but the thing is, you had the chrome, 
uh -huh. which was breaking it up anyway. Yeah. So I don't know. I think I think it looks better two colors. Well, there's always opinions. I'm dying to see this, but <laughs> that's why I put the cover on. I'm very passionate. I wanted, I wanted to be like Christmas for you. <laughs> I'm very passionate about C1 Corvettes, and obviously what that is. We'll scroll to that in a minute. But let's get this down and. It's got some cool options on it. You told me on the phone. The first thing I see when I look at the car is it's got a hard top on it. This was the first year that you could get a factory hard top. If you had a 53 to a 55 with a hard top, they were all aftermarket. So that's that's really cool. The body was totally redesigned for 56, except for the dash. So if you look at the dash, it's the same as a 53 to 55, which is crazy. Um, so I guess you could call it a transition year. The other really neat thing, and correct me if I'm wrong, Michael, this is a power top car. Yeah. So it was the first year you get a power top in a Corvette, which was only offered for a couple of years. Yeah, how cool is that? Uh, very cool, except <laughs> like painting the rear to get working yeah. and it added weight. So exactly. it's America's sports car, so they figured out real quickly it didn't need a power top. But let's look under the hood, one of the coolest options. <laughs> The first year of the two fours. Yep. So as we were talking on the phone, as you know, because you studied these cars pretty hard, these were 265 V8s, uh, but it's got a 327 in it now. Very common to do that because there's a lot more power. For sure. Uh, 327, double hub heads, high lift cam with two fours. This car is fast. Even in today's standards, it's fast. Cool car to drive. So I understand why somebody did that. I don't know if we'll go back to the 265. I actually, I do like the 265, but the 327 uh, with double hump heads and a big cam and two fours, wow, it's hard to beat. Yeah, for sure. You see right here, you got the Ranger Tack, Tack Drive. Hmm. Wow. You guys, the work that you did is, is exceptional. Yeah, it's... We just gotta bring this one home. We finished our, uh, I don't know if you watched the show or not, but we well, did. we got the paint too. Awesome. It's That's good to touch up. It actually uh, is still liquid. We did finish our uh, Alabama State Trooper car. Oh, you did? That's yeah, was two different guys that spent a tremendous amount of time restoring that car. They just couldn't finish it. We finished it. We'll finish this. 56 is such a neat car for so many reasons. The two fours, the hard top. The not power convertible as top. As Since we're on the flapjack pancake thing, what is it with the flapjacks now? So that's a waffle <laughs> pattern on the seats. Waffle pattern seats. Yep. See? Is it Belgium or regular? American. <laughs> <laughs> so that's regular. <laughs> I always thought these masks were super cool. Love it. Is, is the, has the chrome been done and the sand's been yeah. done? Okay. Guys back at the shop are going to shoot me, but I think we should be able to finish this car in 200 hours. They'll say no way, but. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, Sean? I've watched them do. Yeah, so. Wow. Love it. All right. So we're on to an incredibly iconic American sports car. Or actually, we're going to go from an incredibly iconic American sports car to an incredibly iconic German sports car. Yes, sir. Let's check this out. Now, is this red or warm? In Germany. So is this a real L215 color code car? Yes. No way. So some people call it tangerine, some people call it signal orange. In my opinion, and I'm sure since you own this car, <laughs> arguably one of the best colors ever. Absolutely. Uh, I love Signal Green too. So, I've been buying and selling Porsches for a long time. I haven't sold any in a long time. <laughs> kind of in trouble for that. <laughs> but this car's going in my private collection for sure, if we can, can agree on a price, which I'm sure we will. 79.14.6, tell me about this. Well, this one's, um this one's an emotional one because uh, my late wife and I met in uh, March of 1973 when she was driving a 914-4 and um, we were working in the same office complex together and I saw her 
roll out. Those are the days of miniskirts. Saw her roll out in the morning when she'd go to work in the dental office with her miniskirt on and um, put those legs out of the car. And I said, boy, I'd like to drive that car. So I uh, invited her to lunch in March of, uh, of uh, 1973 and invited her to lunch if we could take her car. So she said, sure. So I pulled the target top off and we went for a drive at 32 degrees around the suburbs of Chicago having lunch and came back. The rest is history. We were together for 35 years and unfortunately she passed away 15 years ago. Um, but I bought this car for her as our 25th wedding anniversary present. It was in the race shop where I kept my 911 RSR race car and I kept seeing it under the cover back in the corner. Well, hang on a second. Yeah. Yes, he said 911 RSR. Wow. Okay, sorry. Yeah. So uh, it was restored to its current condition by Bob Heinsohn Racing in Kansas City prior to the doctor owning it. And it's got a little dash plaque on there from Bob Heinsohn Racing. And it's my understanding that Bob Heinsohn Racing was the first shop to get 914s and race in SECA wow. early on. Uh, so they knew the cars very well. It's got some funky things to it. There's a 911 oil uh, pressure gauge and temperature gauge on the left side there and there's a little toggle switch above it and if you flip that toggle switch down the temperature gauge turns into a the wow. yep yeah, right there it turns into the gas gauge and, uh, back up. this one runs yes sir okay i was, I was not anticipating that <laughs> yeah i know that, that was your, that was your christmas present oh well, thank you wow. yeah, put a battery in it drain the gas drain the float bowls out of the webers pumped the fuel in and it started in like nice three cranks okay so, I, I i gotta know the answer to this question porsche guys are going to cringe yes compare this to your rsr for driving for fun for fun there's just not, just there's for fun. absolutely nothing like this <laughs> i mean it is it, it's a go-kart so i mean it's, it's the, the, R, the rsr is kind of tough to drive right it's a handful yeah. a, a good handful a good handful, I mean, with coilovers and everything that we did to the car to make it make it uh, capable as a race car, it was every bit as balanced, maybe better than this, because you had the weight over the rear wheels. With this, the rear end's actually a little light. Okay. And so if you, you get on it, you'll break the rear end loose. It's the uh, 930 turbo of the 914 world, right? Well, yeah, not, not <laughs> quite that brutal, right. but for sure it's, it's fast and fun. And, um, but this this is a truly visceral experience to drive a 914.6. There's just there's no nothing question. like it. You've got the roof. You take the roof off. The acceleration is fun. Uh, it's got the the 901 gearbox. So you know, you're starting over and down. That first to second shift is almost straight up. And uh, then from there, you've got an eight regular H pattern. So as a race car, it's great. And I I vintage raced many of these. Um, over time and we put a lockout on the shifter so you'd lock out first gear so you wouldn't inadvertently go down to first gear right, right. on a downshift so then it's just like like driving a four speed in most of these cars a big majority of these cars were were raced I yes. mean they were just a I'm not gonna say a cheater car but it was a a cheat car to vintage race they were great cars oh absolutely so and so much fun and people would be just amazed when you come flying past them so this is interesting for First of all, if you guys are out there, you're, we are always having 914.6s, no matter the condition. When you walk up in the car to the side, get excited if it's got five loads instead of four. Don't get too excited because the majority of those are going to be 914.4s that have been converted. Here's what you want to look at. Here's what I want to see. The very, very first thing is you want to walk up and see that it actually says 914 in the bin. 914 four cylinder cars started with 447s or Four, four, depending on what year it was. Um, I'm not going to say this to make anybody mad, but a real 914 is a 914.6. That's my opinion. That's the only one to have. See, that's for sure. From okay. a pro. From a pro. <laughs> so I, it has a the doctor that owned it before me put in this monster stereo system. But I, I do, do, I do not have a monster. Use. That's an eight. <laughs> yeah. Well. Wow. Here's another thing. First thing I want to look at is your chassis numbers right here. Mm. You know, like 911s, whatever, they're, they're in, the, in the floor, but 914. Wow. Michael, this car is way nicer than I anticipated. 
I don't know how you get anything out of that eight. I stared at hurt my feelings. That's it doesn't great. hurt my feelings, but I'm just saying, if you're getting base up here, how are you going to get that inside the it, cabin? It gets in the cabin. It does? Yeah. I think it reverberates off the gas tank or something. But something. It's, well, hang on, you're Sean. You're an AV guy. Base I am. Is, base is not directional. I know, you know that. Okay, look at how far it has to travel. It doesn't to matter. It's not directional. Okay. It's in the car. I it can do. face the other way. It'd be just fine. This would be a trunk rattle. <laughs> yeah, well, that, that it is. The okay. rattles. See, the rattles, rattles for sure. <laughs> So this plaque right here was the original owner? Um, that's the gentleman who restored it, who worked for okay. Bob Heinz and Race. The race shop. Yeah. So here's something I see odd right off the bat. This car was sold and delivered new in December of 74. I saw that. Which means I'm going to have to heavily research this. This car could have been um, a show car somewhere. There had to be a reason why. Well, the next page actually says 7 of 70. So either that guy backed out, and that, that's odd. That's something worth researching. It's got, it has two delivery pages. Yeah, I, and I didn't get that either. So, so. Probably the same dealership sold it in 70, took it back in trade, and then sold it again. Sold it again. Added a dealer page for 74. Very cool. Nevertheless, that's, that's neat. These cars are tough to find. Yes. Oh, there she is. I was wondering where that was. It's a target top. Come on. How cool is that? You haven't seen that, Sean? No. I mean, I've seen it in like newer cars, but you wouldn't think that they had enough trunk space to get it in there. Beautiful car. Unbelievable. You're right, she does look way better with the Targa off. Oh, that's still a cool car. Couple of mirrors, it's got that big winter mirror in it. So. Very cool. Yeah, two. That mirror's nicer for yeah, road, ra road rallies with, and stuff. Yeah, and especially with the right hand mirror. So. Very cool. So, a couple of mirrors that I picked up over time. So, that uh, I think what a lot of people don't understand on the value of these cars is this car is just as much work as restoring 911. I mean, it just is. I mean, they're, they look simple and they're not. They're, it's a tough restoration. This car doesn't need it, but wow. Let's hear it run. <laughs> Jump in there. I'd, okay. I honestly thought, I had no idea this car ran. Per your description, it, it, I thought it had been sitting for a long it time. It was not running. But I said, I want to drive this before it goes, so. We I'm going to buy you a drink, sir. <laughs> Especially coming up the dirt road. I didn't think there's no way this thing's been driven around here. Do we need to choke it? No. Okay. Maybe it's out of gas. I didn't put a lot in it. right here is the paint code L215 which is tangerine or signal orange. I'm going to shake your hand we got a deal I'm going to tell you what you're asking for before we go any further. Thank you. <laughs> Love it. Wow. What do you think Sean P? I like it. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. Those wheels look cool. 
American sports car, German sports car. I tell you what, you gotta drive that and you'll be a believer. Sweet. So these cars, this car originally came with a two liter, it's got a two four in it. Is it out of a 911T? Yeah. Okay. Do you know what year the motor is? I do not. Okay, doesn't matter, but. Here's your other build tag right here. I happen to know a guy's got a whole garage full of Porsche motors. I don't know why he's collecting them, but. Really? Yeah. <laughs> that could be. <laughs> I think I have a problem with Porsche collecting. That is beautiful. I think it's not actually a bad problem to have, sir. Okay, and last but not least, you mentioned you had two motorcycles. And one of them I'm crazy interested in because I went to Germany oh, in the early 90s and brought an R69S over there and rode it really? around visiting different BMW dealerships. Um, beautiful bike. Ended up selling to one of the biggest BMW motorcycle collectors in the world that's over there. It's in the museum. So tell me about this. What year? It's, 70, it's a 76. Okay. Um, in 76, I was a school teacher. And I was working at a BMW shop in the parts department part time just to make ends meet. You know, we didn't make a lot of money back then as school teachers, so I didn't last as a school teacher very long. Okay. Um, but I bought one that was um, Boldor Red, I believe was the color, and my brother bought this one at the same time. Um, he took it down to Georgia and, and rode it every day in Georgia for 36,000 miles on it, and um, then just kind of let it sit. I sold mine to buy carpeting for our home at okay. the time and uh, do some home improvements. And I bought this one from my brother, took it apart in 84 or 82, and then it's pretty much been in the state you see it right now since 84. Okay. Uh, where we moved it the first time, it's moved five times. Um, so you'll see different boxes from different moving companies in there. But I was going to, going to turn it into a cafe bike. I bought R90S um, bikini fairing, uh, seat pan, tank, and was going to put it back. I got a two into one black chrome header. So I was going to make a little cafe racer. With that balanced engine, that would be a great cafe racer. Oh, absolutely. You oh, see the God. smell of his face? We, yeah. we might have so, a problem. I told him that we're coming up here with two track motorcycles. I didn't tell him it was being done. Oh, okay. So he and Alex have been buying and fixing and collecting and selling motorcycles for a side hustle, which I think is great. So don't take a lot of time. Right, yeah. Don't take a ton of money. He has been talking for months about building a cafe BMW. Well, here's your kit. <laughs> And you then, see the smell of Zach's face, he's freaking out. And then the original fender, and so the original color was the brown. I might actually have him load this so I don't destroy it. <laughs> <laughs> wow. But, you know, all the parts, everything, it, 36,000 miles. The build you were going towards is what he and Alex have been talking about. Mm -hmm. So hopefully we make a deal on that. And then you, you have a Triumph. I have a Triumph, a uh, Sprint ST, uh, 25,000 miles, it's 2002. So you wrote this a lot. I'm this, no, I'm the second owner. I bought it with 18,000 miles. Um, a gentleman in Aspen owned it. Um, and he uh, he moved to Thailand. Love the Gave color. it to his sister. Yeah, and his sister sold it British to green. British Racing Green. So we picked up a, uh, a Bentley Brooklyn's last week, this color. Let's, we watched the video last Did night. You? I, I wanted Maryland to see the crew and who is coming, so we watched that. And that was yeah. Wednesday, by the way. All right, that was Wednesday. Maryland, I have a question for you. It's a good turnaround. Did you uh, laugh at all in the video? Oh, sure. Okay, good. <laughs> it was great. Good, good, good. It. And we've watched your show oh, before. Oh, we've watched really? it? Really? Yeah. Every time yeah. I'm up here, we we're watching it. it. I have oh, watched oh, yeah. it for a little while, but yeah. Yeah, so it's um, got the original. What a cool cruiser. Yeah, got the original bags so you could load your stuff in here, put them in the panniers and take this in instead of taking everything else. Love it. Um, tank bag. Are you shaking, Zach? A little bit. <laughs> oh, this is a great bike. I, I rode BMWs Man, for years. Clean, clean. And you know, if you go back and look at the, at the reviews 
uh, this bike versus the BMW of that era, this came up right on par with the BMWs. And it is so much fun to ride. The balance is great. Was it uh, as expensive as a BMW? No. No, okay. no. Slightly less, but not, not significantly. But this triple is really, really smooth. Um, within the last 2,000 miles, it's had brakes, tires, chain, sprockets. So, yeah, it's just a bulletproof motorcycle. I've been in the motorcycle for my whole life. I don't think I've ever seen one of these. <laughs> I guess you can figure out where we're going with all this. We're trying to clean out his garage. Obviously. We call it ripping the band-aid off. It's easier to sell it all and get it all at one time. The engines too? Yeah, motors yep. too. Yep, motors Absolutely. too. Either way. Yeah. That's well, northern. You told me what you want for the bikes and I, I'm in for that as well. Good. So we got to deal with the motorcycles too. Now, Sean P, all we got to do is load all this up. Nice thing is. I just can sit here and watch the view. I have a nice machine there, so we can load the pallet. Look at that. Right into you. I like that. Very convenient. Works smarter, not harder. Oh, that works. All right, sir, let's do some paperwork and get you paid. All right. And I will deal. tell you what, I am, wow, I am stunned at how nice the 914 is. Thank you. I promise you it's going to a great home. I really good home. That's great. So now all I need is a 71 and 72 914 6. So send your lead to socialcbjeep.com. The if they're that nice, I would love that. Why are the 72 so hard to find? The 72 911 is hard to find. Why? Uh, it's the one year only oil fill, and people think they're worth more money, and the leads I get in tend to be outrageous. But I have one. Okay. We finally found one. Oh, did you? We do have a 72 911 in the collection now. So Sweet. thank you guys for all the leads on that. So we're off of that. Now we're on to 71 72 914 6. Got it. I'll take them in any condition. Though. More bucks. Love car bucks. This is from yeah, new old stock and shipped back to uh, the parts department from this Chevy dealer. Oh, cool. Wow. So two new old stock, 56 Corvette wheels. Incredible. Not oh. anymore. We'll use one as a spare to sell the other one. Outstanding. Thank you, ma'am. That's the one without, obviously. Okay. Good. Cool, refreshing lemonade. Wonderful drink. Thank you, ma'am. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> I can't see you, Sean. Thank you for being an incredible caretaker in the 914.6. Thank you. And the Corvette. They're going My to a good pleasure. home. And Appreciate having a good that. tool. <laughs> <laughs> My got, pleasure. I got one more question. Yes, sir. Favorite local place to eat? Laundry. Laundry. Hey, can y'all go laundry. with us? I need to do laundry. Absolutely. Well, let's go eat. So, Ryan, they recommended 
your restaurant. Oh, okay. Thank as the you. best in town, yeah. so we got laundry, kitchen, and cocktails, right? Yes, sir. All right, I'd like to start off with some small plates. Okay. All right, you ready? Sure. I could make this easy, but I'm not going to. Okay. All right. I want the eggplant. Yes, sir. Fried green tomato. Uh -huh. Caesar. The bib. Panzanella. Okay. Summer harvest. Crisp potatoes. Sure. Some hash. The pow pow. This might be a lot of food. Let's go, baby. Oh, uh, we, we got bison carpaccio. Will be a lot of food. Just the lamb. Okay. The beef brisket. The pork belly. The tuna crudo. Steak tips. And the last but not least. The pork cheeks. Are you are you sure about all this? I yes, sir. Okay. Okay. That's hilarious, uh, Dennis. <laughs> what salad is that? This is the bib dork. salad. Dennis okay, bib salad. Caesar salad. Caesar salad. Caesar salad. Caesar salad. Caesar Caesar salad. salad. That is cold smoked salmon on the bottom. Right, we, I would get uh, honey, farewell. goat cheese, <laughs> <laughs> part, <laughs> love, French vinegar <laughs> dressing, honey and goat cheese, gluten free. Outstanding. It's the bison carpaccio. Bison carpaccio. You can only get that in Colorado, right? Oh, for sure. <laughs> yeah, they're a lot meaner. <laughs> Leaner and meaner. Bigger, bigger and meaner. That is amazing. Did it melt in your mouth? Wow. That is a crazy cool Caesar. So that's bison. Did you try Champy? Yeah, I did. The bison was amazing. I'll do another one. It's so tender. Bison oh, yeah. carpaccio. Not like you, that's for sure. Thanks. Tender? <laughs> <laughs> well, um, I have my moments. <laughs> really? All right. Your soft side? You see what you've got a soft my under soft side. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Amazing. It is. So can you do it? I got a no for it, sorry. Oh, no. got the kibosh on my legs. Uh, sure you're brave. Oh, that watermelon in the salad is banana. So, ahi tuna, obviously raw, with lemon jam. Whoa. This is crazy. Wow. This is the only time you ever hear me say that. That is exquisite. Sean, uh, this might be too high for you. <laughs> Certainly not. Is that exquisite? It's exquisite. Did you, did you say exquisite? I said it twice now. How do you eat it? Put a fork. Mm. The is fabulous. There's a lot going on at this restaurant. Ooh. Got sesame powder and pickle oh, ginger on there. Shrimp pow pow with ginger. Yeah, you gotta hit the sesame powder. Oh, sesame powder. powder. You, okay. gotta you do missed that. the other side. That's an absolute essential. Oh, I missed. Oh, the ginger's insanely good. I love it. Okay. Wow. What? I got all three. That's the bite. Okay, it's time now. Okay. Wow. That is money. Goat cheese hash, steak tips. Looking at the theme. Ma'am, you're first. Yeah, that's, the oh. yeah, that's, that's my go-to. I'm tiny. I'm tiny. I know she normally eats just a fraction of this okay. amount. So I was gonna go first again. I'm tiny in my mind. It's good. It's These are good. Potatoes. I'm sorry. Pistachio pesto, black caprioli, truffle parmesan, summer harvest. Well, that Peanut sounds butter, fancy. Beets and summer squash. Oh, there's a key on that. Oh, and those are fabulous too. The, are we've got those? an orange chili aioli with these pork cheeks, and then so kimchi peppers and pickled fresh Wow. Wow. Okay. Wow. okay. Wow. You even know what that is, Shopee? I have no idea. It looks like a donut. He is not a donut. It's a little what is Chinese it? dumpling. Bao, baby. Bao, bao. Bao. No, you need to try it. Ma'am, you're up first. Yeah. That's how it works in Texas. No, oh no. Don't make me steal your thunder. Let her rip, potato chip. <laughs> okay. Go bao bao. Yeah. Bao bao. Go bao. Oh my goodness. I'm going to share this. I'm going to create it, then I'm going to share it. Because, uh, 
Yeah. I don't mind you making mine. <laughs> oh, oh, that's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> so we've been around the world. We've eaten some well, really yeah. cool things. We've never had that. Wow. We certainly don't know how to prepare it. Uh, so, let's oh. just put a little of this in here, don't it's you think? It's like a lot of work. Well, there is. Is that ginger? But uh, it is. Do you, would you eat ginger? I like ginger. Oh, right. Okay. A tiny ginger. You're not making that for Sean. This is a tiny... I am. No, I am. Oh, a little onion. I'm in. All right. Is that good or a little... Oh, let's do another meat. Yeah, oh yeah, man. Oh, there you go. What do you think? Woo! Oh, thank you. Give it to the fat kid that likes eating cake. Ah, you said it, I didn't. <laughs> so, <laughs> piece of nothing there, sir. They're just puffy little dumplings. Yeah, Chinese. Got yeah, a little bell yeah. wrap. Yeah. It looks yeah, good. Little Chinese dumplings. It's, like, it's like the same wrap that you really use for like pork Good, bread. better, and different. Yeah. It'd almost be like an egg roll if they fried it. But it's puffy and it's soft. Funny. You want know, the fact that Sean had nothing negative to say? That's got to be outstanding. Look at this. Really <laughs> what a delight, dude. <laughs> I think it's because she made it, though. That's how I was pulling it. It's still in my medicine. You thought raspberry tart would be. I was like, are you so you want to go after this? All right, man, can you tell us what we have? Uh, what is that? This is your avocado. Okay. Um, that's your coconut cream. Okay. That's your chocolate cake. Um, raspberry tart. Oh, I love we have raspberry. your gelato, so we have chocolate caramel. Looks like marshmallow rice krispies. But now we have blood orange. So we have four gelatos, and last but not least, what is that? Berries and cream. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Good job. Let's do it. Enjoy. Okay. I'm gonna enjoy that. I am here for a tiny little taste. It's, it's it's ice cream and you pour espresso over it. Well, that's yours. You have the whole thing. That's yours. <laughs> and I'm not gonna wire myself up. All right, let's watch this. I, I Look at this. I think you're gonna wire. I have so never much. seen affogato. I I've wanted it for so long. So I almost want to go back to y'all's house to see. You just do. Whoosh. Over the whole thing. It's a good thing we have a Do learned a nice woman little, here, like, Sean. Segmented or oh, into okay. one zone. Because we have no idea what we're doing, you know. Oh. Okay, well, I'm spilling it, but look at that. I almost want to go back to your house to see what she does with the ground. <laughs> look at that. Are you going to dip the cinnamon stick in there? And we were talking about that. What do you like? It's a little. Oh, let's see. She's okay. a so little pastry a, a stick. Here's a spoon. Oh. Here's a she said. Try it. <laughs> okay. Let's see if it's awesome. I am so excited. I have wanted to try this. This is Italian. Italiano. This is the first time I see you excited. Oh, no, that's not true. <laughs> <laughs> is that good, bad, or indifferent? It's delicious. Okay. We like delicious. Oh my goodness. I'm going straight for best bite. Oh my I'm going and dessert. The ras Chocolate. Raspberry. Oh. Woo! Look at that. Your carnage coming it's, from every it's, angle. It's everything I expected. Did anybody? I know I dug in there, but it really is fabulous. What an outstanding meal. All right, everyone, I got a great event for you next week, August 23rd and 24th. My good buddy, J.D. Pass, a.k.a. The Cowboy, at SonicBitter.com is having a 200-car, no-reserve, classic car auction. Again, that's SonicBitter.com. Check this out. This is unbelievable. All makes, all models. We're going to go over a few of the highlights here, pop them up, and even show you the car that he's been test driving. Look at that. Way to go, Cowboy. Let me tell you guys about a few stars of the sale. The Mutt's movie car from Dumb and Dumber. One of one car, used in the movie in 1994 with Jim Carrey and Jeff Daniels. 1997 Toyota Super Twin Turbo, 15th anniversary car, silver. Twin Turbo V6, 200 car with only 99,000 miles and removable target top. 72 Chevy Camaro Z28, split bumper car. Immaculate condition, yellow with black vinyl top, black and white two-tone interior, 3,000 miles shown on the odometer, numbers matching, 350, 360 horse. 72 Chevrolet Monte Carlo, one of my favorite cars in the sale. Now, this is a convertible, it's one of the six prototypes ever built. Obviously exceptionally rare, these never went into production. It's triple black, has a correct rally wheels, it's a 350, a three-speed automatic. 1931 Bentley eight liter tour, what an unbelievable pre-war car. Estimated value of two and a half to three million dollars. 
one of only 100 known to exist, produced in Cricklewood, London. It's British Racing Green, of course, built to perform on the track and also to be driven. It has got a massive 487 cubic inch inline six cylinder with massive torque. JD actually drove this car, went over 100 miles per hour. Check out this video. huge no reserve collections again there's over 200 cars trucks motorcycles burt riddle's actual golf cart a prevost bust and even a yacht you know my buddy jd pass he always goes big so y'all come see the cowboy sonicbidder.com august 23rd and 24th you can register and bid online as always please like to share and follow and most importantly subscribe to our youtube channel see you next week